All right, we are back with Start Today. You may have heard I am gearing up to run the New York City Marathon in Ooh. November. I can't even believe I'm saying it, but it's true. With my help uh, or with the help of my trainer, Jess, I've been preparing for the big day, and I have learned there are some important steps to take before and after a workout. So joining us this morning, we have Liz Plosser, editor-in-chief of Women's Health. She's here to show us the right ways to warm up and cool down, along with two of our NBC staffers. We have Christina and Fazai. Good morning to both of you guys. So here's the thing. It doesn't matter whether you're running, you're going out for a power walk, you got to stretch. Absolutely. Strength training, swimming, pickleball, skiing, whatever All the, the sport is, you need to warm up. I used to be a person who thought, I don't have time for that. Who really needs it? I'm here to tell you it makes a big difference. Not only does it help prevent injury, but also it gets you in the right mindset for the workout and it improves your range of motion, warms up your tendons, your muscles, your joints. You get more out of the workout. Who That's doesn't want like that? That's so let, let's yeah. start with something that I remember from my yoga days. Yes, let's get into cat it. Cat-cow. That's right, cat-cow. Cat cow. This is a great warm-up move to start with. So you're on your hands and knees with your palms under your shoulders, your knees under your hips and you're gonna come up like a cat, so you're like arching your back. Do you have to make cat noises? <laughs> you can do that, yeah, we can We can all purr, and then you are coming back down the other direction, looking up to the sky. I like to sway my hips, get your hips kind of warmed up. You can make your, uh, your feet go flat, you can scoop your toes. I also love to flip my palms and get a nice stretch in my forearms and kind of sway into it. It all feels good, just have fun with it. Then we're gonna go into um, a standing pose. These are called hamstring scoops. I know you love these, Chanel. You're a runner, you've been good. running. These are awesome before you go out for a jog, so your feet are hip width apart. Take your right foot, place it a little forward, flex that foot. You're gonna get a nice stretch on your hamstrings as you scoop your arms down, big wide arms like you're making a big hug in the air. Do about three on each side. So you'll do three over to the other side. That's all it takes. It doesn't take long. Yeah. Yep, super easy. Huh. And then to finish it out, we are going to do some knee hug walking or marching. You can do it in place. If you've got um, a sidewalk or park in front of you, go ahead and take a stroll. So you are feet hip width apart and hug that knee in. Mm. And you're gonna alternate sides. I almost feel like even if it's just when you get up in the morning, you know what yes. I mean? Just to get yes. that going. That's right. It's great for getting your glutes warmed up, your hips. You can feel it in your upper body, your shoulders, and go a little deeper and higher with each one. So that's it. Super fast, fast. super fun, super easy. I think a lot of people know they're supposed to stretch, but what about the cool down afterwards? Yes. Okay, I am also a convert on the cool down. So you stress your body out when you're working out. It's a positive stress. It's a good for you stress. You need to signal to your body that it's time to transition into the rest of your day. Let your parasympathetic nervous system come back in. Okay, so let's start with a child's pose. I like to take my, uh, my knees wide. You can take them in close, whatever works for you. And then you're gonna stretch forward. You can take your hands over to the side, get a nice side body stretch, kind of lean over, over your hips. And if you've been doing some upper body strength training, it's great to thread the needle. So you take your right hand and you're oh, flipping yeah. it underneath. It's yep. So good. And then you can go the other direction. This is like a full body oh, no, I'm dynamic. Like, this is correct. a real deal. Awesome for you. <laughs> and then she's going to do this instead of the marathon. <laughs> <laughs> while it. you're down on the floor, we're going to flip over and do a supine stretch. So you're on your back and you're going to just kind of windshield wiper your legs. If you have lower back issues, I would stop there. But if you don't, you can get a deeper stretch, perpendicular knees, and you're gonna look in the opposite direction. You feel that back open up, oh, it feels yeah. so nice. It's good in my shoulder too. And then last but not least, breathing. This is like, if you have no time and you say, Liz, I cannot make time for a cool down, just breathe, that's it. So I love to do triangle breathing. You are going to count in for three counts as you inhale, hold it at the top for three counts, top of the breath, and then slowly exhale for three counts. And you do that for about 60 seconds. While you're doing that, maybe take a minute and say, thank you, body. Thank you, body. Mm, so you know, good. Bask in the glow <laughs> thank of your you, body. play some music you love, and on to the rest Liz. of your day. I love it. Liz, and thank you, thank my you. friend. So good. Um, by the way, you can scan the QR code on your screen if you want to sign up for the Start Today newsletter. So many people are are part of this community. It's been amazing. And you can read more about my marathon journey by checking out today.com and Women's Health. Thank you guys so much. It's a beautiful article out today. Thank I, you. I love the article. Everybody should read it. Thank you guys. Awesome. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.